Meanwhile, the economic freedom fighter has described its national shutdown as a success despite a lower than expected turnout. South Africa's third largest party says it's measuring its success by the number of people and businesses who opted to stay away. News of Africa's Bali Ted Tani with the details. Raise the red flag high. EFF leader Julius Malema has described Monday's shutdown protests as the most successful in history. But ANC members claim the shutdown was a non-event and a monumental failure, with the DA saying the EFF's bark is always bigger than its bite. Supporters took to the streets to call for an end to load shedding and for President Cyril Ramaphosa to resign. The EFF says its national shutdown achieved its objectives. We introduced a new type of uh, shutdown, one with, that wasn't characterized by violence, by death, as much as most of uh, society will uh, reject a regressive sector of society and even the state tried to fear monger around our shutdown. So we think it was a success, particularly because we redefined what it means to have a shutdown without a loss of life, without violence, without destruction of property. The core business of a national shutdown is to ensure that there is an inconvenience not only to the economy but to the normal operations of industry. And uh, for us that was successful because if you looked around all the taxi, uh, taxi ranks, the malls, the buses, the train stations, they were ghost towns. In Pretoria, where the main march took place, and in some other areas, the party managed to bring in the numbers. But in other parts of the country, the EFF struggled to bring in the crowds. The people who came out and registered their dissatisfaction, no matter their numerical uh, amount, they must be respected and they must be applauded because they are participating in something that has not gained mass popularity yet. They are starting a discourse and they've been able to do that uh, yesterday and we've seen it all across the country. And we're pleased with the discipline that our members showed. And we're pleased, of course, as well with those political parties and civic organizations that pledge their support to the national shutdown of the year. So we weren't launching a rally. We were having a national protest and that was successful. Our message was registered. It has been the core message of the entire week in South Africa, the entire day in South Africa. There was rolling coverage of the national shutdown in different locations. And that is what we needed to do, instill in the consciousness of our people that we must be tired of the leadership of Ramaphosa, we must be tired of the continued rolling electricity blackouts, high unemployment, high gender-based violence and lack of service delivery. Political analyst Stephen Friedman disagrees that the EFF's protests were a success. Look, to be frank, uh, the media love the EFF. It's good theatre, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's drama, etc. Uh, but I think one always has to go beyond the drama and say, look, how many people are represented here? Uh, and, and when one does that, uh, you know, one, one, one puts it in perspective. Uh, the most successful mass movement in this country's history was the trade union movement over a period of 10 or 15 years. And really, this is, this is a pale shadow of that. It's, it's nothing like that. Meanwhile, some Johannesburg residents have shared mixed views on the shutdown. I think it was, no, it was a waste of time because some businesses had to close for nothing and some people did not make money. We are tired of the load shedding, to be quite honest. But what I'm happy about is that there was no, there was no deaths, there was not a lot of violence. You know, it's a good initiative that Malima is actually rising up and standing for the people. To be honest, I do think it was very successful. I'm very proud actually of the EFF for making sure that it was a peaceful, silent protest that got the message across. Well, from the way I saw things, I think it was successful because we had electricity at least for two days. We uh, stayed indoors at home. They didn't follow it too much on the news. I see that there's a few articles out whether there's, it's a success or not in, in inverted commas, but I'm not sure. The EFF is gearing up to celebrate a decade of existence this year. The 2024 elections will be a critical test on whether the party can grow its support, which is currently sitting at just under 11% nationally. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I'm Bali Tetani in Johannesburg.